Looking crazy out there. Let me get this phone out of my pocket. Oh, I think I broke it. I think I broke the phone. Yeah, so I uh, busted my phone up pretty good. Yeah. Uh, hey, big shout out to LG though. Shout out to LG. Uh, yeah. But anyways, let's continue the story. So I'm standing out there in the garden and I didn't even start off with the phrase, let's get motivated. I actually said, what's going on everybody? It's your daily ambitions heartbeat to keep you going every single day. And that's kind of where it started. But all of a sudden I really started practicing at my house where I am right now. Now when I would start my speeches, the only audience that I had was, uh, actually, hold please, I'll show you what my audience was. This was my first audience. I had a teddy bear, an Xbox controller, shout out to Xbox out there. If we got some Xbox players out there, 2K players, you can get it. And a uh, spoon. This was my audience. I didn't have an audience at the time, but I wanted to make sure that I lived out a quote that I wrote down. I said, you have to practice when no one is watching. So when everyone is watching, you make it look easy. See, it's not just getting up in front of people and starting to talk and know you have to do your homework behind the scenes that when you get in front of the scenes, you don't slip up or you don't make a mistake or you're like, oh, I forgot my stuff. No, you have to practice when no one is watching. So when everyone is watching, you make it look easy. Easy. Finally, I was in my car and I did a motivational quote that changed everything. Me going to Daily Ambitions Heartbeat to Let's Get Motivated. I was in the car and I said this. Surround yourself by people that are go-getters. Surround yourself by people that are winners. Surround yourself with people that are champions. Let's get motivated. And all of a sudden I was like, hey, that kind of has a nice feel to it. And from that day on, I said, let's get motivated.